So we're back here at uh, like this is probably test four of this Integra project and we're making another suspension change. This is what we had on the cars, Coney orange shocks with the Eibach uh, Pro Kit lowering spring, stock top hats. This suspension dropped our lap times about 2.7 seconds. We're still having some tire wear problems, we're still having some body roll problems. So I kind of put some feelers out there, started looking for some good, you know, race track suspension and we came up with these. These are the Coney 3011 series double adjustable shocks. This is a true race setup. This is the top of the line Coney stuff. So you're gonna have a rebound adjustment on the top knob. You're gonna have compression adjustment by actually turning the shaft. These came off of a, a buddy of mine. They're, they're second hand, but they're, they're already set up with Carsteps top hat. I'm gonna run the spring rates that are on them for the first part of the test, just to kind of get a feel for them and see what we want to do. So we got a 600 pound rear spring and a 700 pound front spring. That'll just kind of get us going. We'll see what we like, what we don't like, and make kind of fine tune adjustments from there. This is pretty much the last shock spring coilover setup I'll ever need to buy for this car. This thing will do anything you ever want it to do. The Coney's are revalvable. Springs are standard two and a half inch ID Eibach spring. Whatever rate you ever want to put on there, you can try them. So this is pretty much the, the end of the road when it comes to suspension for this car. It's, it's done. When we pick these up, like I said, I pick these things up second hand because, well, sometimes second hand race parts are probably your best value. So I picked these things up. This is a, a Type R eyelet style control arm. So we're, we got some brand new OEM Type R rear lower control arms. We're gonna put those on at the same time. With the Type R rear lower control arms, they actually use these special tube style ABS sensors. So I pick some of these things up, we'll, we'll be swapping those in at the same time, just so we still have the factory fit and finish. Part of the process here is we're gonna try to fine tune the camber on this car a little bit. Each car is gonna want different camber. The tire wear is kind of what you're looking at to see what kind of camber you wanna put into the car. Right now we're at two and a half degrees in the front with a lot of body roll, so we're killing the outside edges. I think we'll probably still be in that two and a half to two and three quarter range on camber once we eliminate the body roll to get the even tire wear that we want. So this is what's been on the car. It's a Revo Technica style, full replacement AR. Just a good entry level camber kit. All the adjustment bolts are on the top, which makes it difficult to loosen it up and get all the negative camber that you want when the car's on the alignment rack. So we're making the switch here. We're going back to the stock control arms, the SPC style ball joint camber kit. These are good for up to, I wanna say about three degrees of camber just off of the ball joint itself. So once you factor in lowering the car a little bit, you probably get three and a half, three and a quarter degree of camber, whatever you want to target. So this will be our long-term solution. We'll be able to set camber wherever we want, dial in what we want, make the changes that we need to get the, the right tire wear that we're looking for. I think now it's just pushing. It's just it's got we just got some understeer in it. The spring rates are you know soft in the back and stiff in the front, and let's just unhook that front sway bar and see if we can 
get it to make one rotation until we can get back on the power. I put together three laps at 26.3, 126.3, 126.4, 126.5. We're consistent, we're repeatable now. So now we can make a little bit, start making some changes to try to make it go quicker. Basically it's running what it ran before. Yeah, right now right now we have matched the, the last lap timeout. The last lap timeout though, like I was only able to do that 26.4 like here and there. Like I couldn't, I couldn't do it lap after lap. So this, right now we're, we're super consistent so I can, I can run that 126.5 range like every time right now. Here, but I don't want to hook that sway bar back up. Yes. It was way easier to drive this before the sway bar. With the sway bar hooked up, it was easier to drive. Now it's harder to drive to get the lap times. That's why I think we need it. Because we, we want to stay flat front and rear. You know what I mean? Why, why give it more front? Yeah. We need to give it, two. I think, two clicks all the way around. A little muddy. <laughs> you went, went off? I went off back there in the back. Yeah, I heard a lot of screeching and then you weren't able to pop out. So like...
up guys, we're out here at the firm today. We, uh, we're testing our new suspension. We had the Kony 3011 series double adjustable uh, dampers and the higher spring rates on the Integra. So we came out here and uh, it took about 20 or 30 minutes to kind of get comfortable with how the car had changed handling wise. It was a lot stiffer. With the old suspension, we kind of just romp over stuff. You know, we kind of just threw it in a corner, planted the gas and it kind of pulled itself out. A lot of body roll at that setup. So this setup, not nearly as much body roll. Took a little more finessing as far as getting the thing around the track. The morning session, we got back down to our previous best. Our previous best was a one minute, 26.4 second lap. Um, this morning, I was able to do back to back to back, 26.3, 26.4, 26.5. So we were right back where we wanted to be. So at least we knew we had a base and we had a consistent lap time to base it off of. I noticed the car was pushing a lot, kind of through the corner. I kind of felt like I was kind of manhandling it once it got into the corner to kind of pull it all the way through. So we unhooked the front sway bar to see if we could induce a little bit more oversteer without having to go crazy with any dampener changes. We matched the time, minute 26.5 lap time, but we didn't go any quicker. So we went out to lunch. After lunch, we came back and we started playing with uh, Coney adjustments. The easiest things to adjust on these are the rebound. They're on the top of the actual shock itself. So we went out and ran a couple of laps on just making the front a little bit stiffer so we could try to eliminate some of the oversteer that we were seeing. Didn't help a whole lot. The car was more drivable for, for, my, for my style, but we didn't pick up any lap time. Came back in made the rear a little bit stiffer and then up the front just a, just a tad bit more to kind of keep that the difference between the front and the rear kind of where I, I, I thought it may have worked well. Again, the car was a little more comfortable to drive and we got back down into the one minute 26 range. So we're, we're back on the right track. So it's two o'clock in the afternoon now. It's 76 degrees, everything's hot, everything's greasy. I don't see us improving the lap time much more in this afternoon. So, you know, we, we learned a lot today and we're kind of go back to the drawing board now and see what we can come up with next. That concludes today's test session. That concludes this episode. We had a great time doing this. We're, we're learning a lot. Hopefully you guys are learning a lot. So be sure to check out the description. It has links to our Instagram, our Facebook, our website, our YouTube, all, all the places you can get a hold of us and kind of see what we're doing. So just, you know, give us a follow. Let's, uh, let, let me know what's going on. Let me know what you guys like, what you don't like. You can watch the Integra project. We got the CRX drag racing this year. We got other car projects coming through the shop. And of course we have a lot of product stuff. If you guys need parts, call us. We got parts. So, hope to see you next time, and uh, we look forward to your feedback. We just released our new Drag Race 2019 team shirt. Had all our sponsors on it. Has uh, everybody that's in, uh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> it's available on the website if you want to check them out. They're 20 bucks. The links in the description. <laughs> Chequea la camisa nueva de Supertech y IPG Parts con todos los sponsors. Visita el link en la descripción. So that was the only change we did to the car is we uh, removed the factory open differential and put an in-factory helical LSD in. And then we went back to the track for, for basically a day free of testing. And uh, that's, that's what you're going to see in this episode. <laughs>